Okay. What's up? Dojus in here with some five minutes or less of financial advice. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about insecurity uh, and not just, uh, uh, you know, individual insecurity or whatever. It's financial insecurity. But that actually does come back down to the fact that, you know, financial insecurity is the manifestation of a self-worth problem, not a net worth problem. I don't like the term net worth because, you know, it's a fake metric in my opinion anyways. Uh, but if you're suffering from feelings of financial insecurity, uh, I know you're going to want out of those feelings because they're torturous. I mean, and really you're torturing yourself. And, uh, you know, it's because it, deep down inside, uh, you're saying to yourself subconsciously that you're not worth it or you're not enough. So um, let's go ahead and try and shift the way that we see things, right? So this is going to go back to the last video that we did about mindset, right? Having the right mindset is the most important thing that you can have um, when it comes to your finances. And it's not just, you know, f having the mindset with finances, it's all areas of life. So, um, you know, that's the mo main point I wanted to make today is like, just stop being insecure, okay? You're worth it. You can do it. I believe in you, all right? Make those baby steps, baby steps, right? Save for a rainy day. If you don't have a rainy day fund, start saving some money. In fact, I think there's this rule. It's like a 10, 15, 25, 50, right? And I think that's the way it's set up, right? So 50% of your check goes to your living expenses. 25% of your check is for fun. 15% of your check needs to be put towards um, investments for uh, retirement and then 10% needs to be put in savings for that what if the rainy day fund right uh, because you know it's gonna rain I think Dave Ramsey's like it's gonna rain you know he's kind of funny um, so you know it's all about making sure that you're allocating your income correctly and so yeah uh, it's the I like to say 10 15 25 50 right so half your check goes to the necessities you know, 10% goes to savings, 15% goes to your investments, and then you can have fun with the other 25%. Now, if your living expenses, the necessities are more than half of your check, then you need to do one of two things. Either one, cut some of those things out of your life, really determine what is necessity, or two, find another way to make money. Um, there's tons of opportunities online now for passive income, and there's tons of ways that you can um, start a side hustle. Um, you know, sell some of the stuff in your house that you're not using. You got that guitar sitting in the corner. You're like, oh, I want to teach myself to play someday. Just sell it. You can get 50 to 100 bucks for that guitar, okay? That's money in your pocket. Um, what else? Maybe you got some cats. Go ahead, breed them, sell them for five bucks a piece. Hey, maybe that's not worth it to you. I don't know. I'm just saying there's ideas out there that you can make some money and, you know, get rid of things. There's tons of things like, you know, Etsy or offer up, you know, to in order to do stuff. You know, you want to make jewelry, sell it on Etsy, whatever. So, um, yeah. So back to the, the initial talk, topic, whatever it is that's bothering you, I believe that you can overcome that, all right? Have a positive mindset, stop being insecure, and things will go your way. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Like, share, subscribe if you thought this was helpful. Uh, yeah, and share it with at least one friend, please.